Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Little Nightmares DLC number two. This one is The Hideaway, I believe. Following directly on from the depths. Ooh, more gnomes. It was the very first thing that we saw when we started this one. We only got a few seconds into it. Saw pretty much the opening scene uh, as we transitioned from the depths. But the very first thing we saw was gnomes. Really looks like they might play a bigger role in this one. Look at these good skittering children. These precious sons. Oh, there's one. Oh my god, you get stuck like Pooh Bear. <laughs> Honest. Oh! That's adorable. Honestly, after knowing what happens at the end of the game, even slightly before the end of the main game, I could see why they're scared. Carrying an object. Does that mean. Wait. Does that mean what I think it means? <gasps> oh, cool! Oh my god! We're Overlord now! This is also quite a different musical track and tone. Huh. Huh. Where did that one scamper off to? It's like he went behind the suitcase, but... Where did he go in it? Oh, I think he squeezed on through there. Is there anything else? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's drawings in here, too. I saw something on the wall. The watchful eye, two kids, and two gnomes. One of the kids is chained. There's, uh, some really suspicious parallelism in that drawing between the gnomes and the kids. Like, they're in the exact same pose and opposite, reflecting each other. I wish I could make out what some of these drawings are. The ones on the floor, the ones on the wall are a little more clear. Oh, they're, I think those are the same ones from the previous room on the ground. These black ink marks again. Oh, cool. I'm gonna give this one a little hug oh too. Holy shit. This is really cool. I've been in a real mood for a good puzzle game lately. I've actually been eyeing Baba as you. And now they push the suitcase, because we established already, in the previous room, that it takes two people to move one of these heavier trunks. It's hard to make some of these out. One of them is, is all scratched up and has some stuff scratched out. Okay, now are the four of us enough to push this door open? Because it doesn't have a handle like the other ones. Oh, why won't the other one join us? Oh, wait, maybe it's coming. No? Yeah, there you go. 
was being a little bit obstinate. Huh. This, uh, this one doesn't seem nearly as spooky right off the bat. Ashes? Looks like ashes and coal. Which would mean we're pretty close to the furnace, right? What do we Oh shit. Missed that. Come on, get up there. Oh my precious child. Oh, I can make this. I didn't make it the first time I tried, so I just... Hmm. Just dropped another lump of coal, though. Oh, it is the furnace. Oh, no! <gasps> Please don't tell me. No, there's coal right there. They're not gonna jump in. Oh, good. So what are they powering? I mean, in the big picture, it's the maw. But like right now, in the immediate future, what are we doing? Answers that. I guess they're just gonna go about their duty. Huh. So did they just have the gnomes aboard the maw to do menial labor? Like stoking the furnaces with coal? While they dine on the kids? What or who are the gnomes? I don't know if it's a good idea that I left that one behind. Huh, okay. So we're putting these in the dumbwaiter. And then maybe we'll send the dumbwaiter somewhere. Where we'll need the, the, uh, the fuses in the future? can't quite make this throw. So that doesn't seem to be quite right. Also, I could just slide under this. Uh. The coal. The coal crunches under my feet, which means... Oh! why the cold's there. It's to cause the initial alert state on him, because he's blind. And then he just sniffs me out. But how do I get back across the threshold? Because it's right there. I don't like that you can see him partially clipping through the door, but that's fine. <laughs> Okay, once we have fucked up initially... Oh, this is a... Big problem! <laughs> oh, we have to go. Now is the... Shit. Now is the time for going. So you can't make an initial mistake.
Oh, it would be the janitor who comes back. He was the one who gave me, like, the most dynamaxed willies out of all the initial base game enemies. Oh, it is those long, gangly arms. Mm. Okay. This game does great things with unsettling you just through wrong proportions. Is he coming back? Yep. Fuck. Fuck that. More coal. We are at DEF CON 5 clenching. This heavy labored way of breathing, too. Which just, it fills the whole audio space of the room. Okay. Okay, that's done for now. What is this room? Oh, you know what? This is all. Uh, this also places us in time. This is uh This is definitely taking place before Six escapes him because uh, she severs his arms with the door. Either that, or there's more than one. What am I meant to be doing here? Feels like maybe there's something I missed? Or something I'm missing in this room? Yep, yeah, nope. Oh! Oh! I can drag it open from the edge. Oh. You just have to be in the right spot rubbing your face against it. Is this his... Yeah, this is the janitor's supply closet. The answer's that question. Okay, so we'll drag the stool over to the leftmost uh, cabinet. And then climb the files? It's a lot of files. Are the files drawings from the kids? There's something on the floor there. Are the files on the kids? Are the files on the guests? Oh, I didn't mean to go over the edge. Oh, I see now. I have to swing over on the light. Yep. Ooh, okay. I feel like we're getting pretty close to some answers. Ooh, one of these. Pretty straightforward jump. Never love these unlit shafts. Okay, it's a lot of depowered ones. 
and one glowing one up on the shelf. Which, that says to me that it's important. Important for what? I don't know. I'm also going to end up throwing one of these at the button to open the door, I think. This should be pretty straightforward to climb, though. Oh, the other one just slid open because it was loose. And the ship, again, it sways and shifts. I hope this doesn't just break when I toss it down. Hmm. What is that for? Unless we're going to need to bring it into this next room. Which, speaking of... Oh, I don't like that. Nothing so far. Fuck! Nope, nope, nope. Well, uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.